Today we're going to talk about a novel, minimally invasive procedure for treating patellar tendinosis. Previously, the only treatment options available for patients with chronic patellar tendinosis included open or arthroscopic surgical intervention, which was followed by a significant post-operative recovery period. The TenJet device, developed by Hydrocision, allows for a minimally invasive debridement and aspiration using high-velocity saline flow for treatment of chronic patellar tendinosis. The patient is draped and prepped to disinfect the surgical site and create a sterile field. The patient is in a supine position with the knee flex near 90 degrees. I perform a diagnostic ultrasound to identify and confirm the location of the pathology, which is typically near the origin of the tendon on the patella. As you can see on ultrasound, I notice a small hypoechoic area that I will target with TenJet. Given the diseased tissue is typically near the origin, I approach from distal to proximal in an orientation parallel to the tendon fibers for best visualization. To ensure that the patient has minimal discomfort during the procedure, I administer a local anesthetic, typically 10 to 15 cc's of lidocaine without epinephrine, creating a skin wheel at the puncture site. I use the lidocaine to hydrodissect the overlying superficial tissue from the tendon to more clearly delineate the target tissue. Using an 11-blade scalpel, I make a small stab incision through the skin wheel, and once I've created a pathway, I guide the TenJet device toward the pathology while visualizing it under ultrasound. As you can see on ultrasound, the TenJet device is angling downwards towards the diseased tissue. Once the TenJet needle is in place, I depress the foot pedal to start debriding the diseased tissue from the site. On ultrasound, the TenJet tip is very visible. I move the needle in a gentle pistoning motion, forward and backwards, or rotate the device to reach all the pathologic tissue. After approximately three to five minutes of debridement with TenJet, I scan the tendon again to confirm that I have debrided all the diseased pain-inducing tissue. Since this procedure is performed through a stab incision, there is no need for sutures. I place a Steri-Strip, which is then covered with a Tegaderm or bandage. The post-operative care in our practice is typically two weeks of weight-bearing with a knee locked at extension, followed by a home exercise program to focus on range of motion and eccentric exercises. TenJet has become a standard of care in my practice for patients who have failed conservative treatment with difficult to treat symptoms, allowing for earlier return to activity and resolution of pain.